Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Create Up. Today, we are gonna review another really cool feature of the brand new Insta 360. Hold on. Yeah, the one R right here is the missing part because it's actually filming us right now with the one inch Leica mod. And we're gonna review it in depth of how good is the one inch Leica mod compared to GoPro Heroes A and my GH5. Let's do it. The 1 inch Leica mod turned the Insta 361R into the only action camera that has 1 inch sensor in 2020. It has the Sony RX02 image quality into a rugged little body and produced 5.3K resolution with flow state stabilization. If you love action sport and love to film yourself doing it, this is the best looking camera you can get. Okay, on paper, this is amazing, but is it really though? If this is your first video on this channel, you might ask, who is Insta360 anyway? And who is this little Asian guy speaking broken English and telling me what camera to buy in 2020? Well, at least give me a chance to win you over by showing you my in-depth research in camera technology. I am not a big YouTuber, but I am a award-winning VR filmmaker, and my VR film is featured as the top 25 VR videos of 2019 by Forbes. And I know camera, especially those kind that can also do 360 videos. I'm going to compare Insta 361R 1 inch Leica mod to a 4K mod to GoPro Heroes A and my Panasonic GH5 with a 7mm lens, which is filming me right now. By the end of this video, you will know how good or bad of the Insta 361 are in the spectrum of action camera like the GoPro Heroes A and the cinematic DSLR like the GH5. I will use the Sony RX02 if I can find one, but that camera is pretty hard to find. The 1 inch Leica mod is for sure a replacement and upgrade of the old Sony RX02 1 inch sensor small body camera. Disclaimer, it is not a sponsored video. Huge shout out to Insta360 sending me the unit so you can see the image quality and in-depth technical review here first on Creator Up. A closer look at the 1 inch Leica mod. This beautiful beast uses Leica Super Elma A 1 3rd to over 14 ASPH. It is a 1 inch wide angle f3.2 14.4 mm equivalent lens. It shoot 5.3k in 30 frames per second, 4k in 30, 60. Next, we have 2.7k in 30, 60, and 1080p in 30, 60, and 120 fps. Why you need 5.3k in an action camera? The reason is very simple because this is not like my GH5 with a zoom lens. There is no zoom in the Leica lens. So the only way to zoom in in any action camera is digitally zoom in. So if my final render is 4K, I can have room to zoom in or zoom out, which unlock lots of creativity with Premiere plugin like the GoPro FX Reframe, which will work with the One R as well, as its spec is identical to the GoPro Heroes A. You can also reframe in post-production just not as much as a 360 camera. Now, let's go to Best Buy and get a brand new GoPro Heroes 8 and also watch some of my B-roll of the One R.
hours later. So right now I'm in front of Best Buy. Right now I'm in front of Best Buy in West Los Angeles. For me right now is the one art, one inch mod, Leica mod. And I'm gonna go inside and pick up another GoPro Heroes A. Because I crashed my in my last job flying an FPV with the GoPro Heroes A. Well, that is not exactly an FPV drone and it's actually not GoPro Heroes 8, it's a 1X. But hey, I want another GoPro Heroes 8 thing I do to my followers, right? So let's go shopping, guys. So what is the return policy on this? 14 days. 14 days? Even okay. if it's open. So you can try it out. Um, if you don't like it, just bring it back. Great. Thank you so much. Right. Have Bye. Have a good one. Ugh. I got the Heroes A, so uh, let's do some comparison tests right now. One inch Leica vs GoPro Heroes A vs GH5. Let's see some apples to apples comparison to find out the image quality of the one inch Leica. First, we have GoPro's Hero A shooting at 4K 30 frames per second with Pro Tune high bit rate and GoPro color. Everything else is auto. I always use GoPro color because I think GoPro has a beautiful color. It is one of the vintage compared to any other camera, including the One R. Next, we have Insta 261 R in 4K mod. Not sure you noticed but the 4K mod is actually slightly sharper and clearer than the GoPro. Make sure you are watching this in 4K or a 4K monitor. As I pointed out, 1R 4K can see one more E than Heroes 8. The differences is very marginal, but it is there. Again, the majority of your viewers are going to watch the content on a mobile phone. So I wouldn't pick the One R 4K just because of this marginal improvement because good color science is way, way more important than just a little bit of sharpness increase. So the real differences come in when you use the one inch Leica mod. As you see right here, you also notice my new action figures Tanjiro. I am so excited for season two. Put it side by side with the GoPro's Heroes 8, the Leica mod looks so much bigger. It's because it is 5.3K, so a lot more detail are captured. If you care about a thing called dynamic range, look at the shadow area. It is not because GoPro color is more contract and not afraid of crushing the black to make things look good. GoPro is losing detail in the dark. Reducing contrast of GoPro color wouldn't bring back the detail. So no matter how you pull it, 1R has a better dynamic range thanks to the 1-inch sensor. And you can't argue with that. Download the sample from the link in the description below and see it yourself. 1R 4K mode also has HDR video, which is not in the 1-inch Leica mod. As you see right here, it does increase the dynamic range compared to GoPro's Heroes 8, but the details look blurry and you see nasty purple and digital color noise appear in the shadow. It look way worse than GoPro Hero 8 without HDR. If you see the 1-inch Leica compared to the 4K HDR, you can tell the HDR is not good. The 1-inch Leica is a lot better, so I wouldn't suggest filming with HDR video. What about comparing it with my Panasonic GH5? Here we have the GH5 filming with a 7 to 40 millimeter fisheye lens. Put it side by side. Hmm. Look pretty much the same. Let's zoom in. Still, beside colors, they are mostly the same. I will even say the Leica 1 inch is a little bit sharper than the GH5. Probably due to the quality of the lens. The Leica lens is small and beautiful. 
better looking than my thousand dollar Olympus M7 to 14mm. Wow. So, is it the one inch Leica mod, the holy grail of action camera in 2020 for any filming scenario? Not exactly. If you see the beginning of this video, when I use my fingers to count down very close to the camera, practically touching the camera, you see that my hand is out of focus compared to GoPro's Hero 8 or the 4K mod. So there is a focal distance of the one inch Leica. If you are filming a very close subject like a micro details, the one inch Leica mod is not going to work. So why now we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison test between the Insta 261R and the GoPro Heroes 8 right here. And they'll rig it together into a single format. So you see a fair side-by-side -side comparison. See, I'm gonna do a stabilization test, just running test, running on my one real test, and all kind of testing to see which one had the best stabilization and also audio quality. Let's do it. So right now I'm just jogging down the street in front of my house. Uh, I'm just casually walking. So see how good is the state position while you're just walking. And also you can see like dynamic lighting change because the sun is right there setting in California sun. And we can just walk in and see like how good is, wait, hold on. Yeah, respect your pet. Okay, cool guys. Uh, so we just walk around and then I'm gonna run around to see how good is the flow state stabilization versus the Heroes A. And again, this is captured right now without microphone. We just straight out from the audio from the GoPro Hero Ace and the Insta 261 R. So we will see how good the audio as well when you don't use microphone. So now just flip back and let's run. Woo! So intentionally just going up and down jogging as well. Uh, so you actually see some vibration. And I just found it really cool. Look at this thing now. What is that? Well, I guess I'll never know. Okay, let's back to running because I need more exercise. I've been pushing so much video and haven't been able to exercise at all. But again, I'm pretty tired. So now you should have a good like idea how good is the stabilization between two camera but if it's still not i'm gonna go on my one wheel and ride around the block to see how good is like snowboarding skating stabilization let me catch my breath and then i'll hop on one wheel and do this test so why right now i'm gonna connect this little usb to microphone jack into my insta you can see one R right here so you see right here you can open it up and plug this little thing in they only sell 10 bucks way better than the gopro zero a which costs around 80 dollars so when this in i would right now unplug my gh5 audio recorder two very boring minutes later okay so why right now the install to see one R should record directly through my Ceremony Blink 500 wireless microphone uh, directly into the camera. And again, on the left, we still have the GoPro Heroes A also capturing the audio. So we'll compare directly how good is the Blink Ceremony uh, with the GoPro Zero A. And I'm gonna ride my one wheel with this exact setup so we can actually hear not distracted by wind noise because wind noise is impossible to remove it in post. So let's do it now. Okay, now you probably can't hear me. The wind is really bad. Now you probably can't hear me. The wind is really bad. So as you can hear, with the external lavalier mic, the audio quality is more professional sounding. If you are a vlogger, this is the setup you need. So both walking, running, and one wheeling, if that is a word are mostly identical between two cameras. I also want to add, I am on the latest firmware, 
the same firmware you will have when you receive your camera. I saw some other reviews on YouTube that had bad stabilization. That is probably due to the beta firmware. They fixed that in this version and also introduced the same flow state system you saw in my 360 review right here. You should definitely check that video first, by the way, because I am skipping things that I already covered in that 20 minute long video. So indoor and low light filming, you have to check the indoor stabilization option to remove motion blur. Here is a side by side comparison with the GoPro Heroes 8. Freeze the frame here so you can see better. The anchor on the GoPro is all blurry and the same anchor on the One R is still pretty sharp. If you pan down on my head, you probably see it better. Again, this is not as obvious as 360 videos. 360 flow state is going to be better than 2D flow state. So for filming low light action sport, I actually suggest using the 360 mod instead. The stabilization result is going to be better. Slow motion. What you are watching right now, both camera is in 1080p in 120fps and slow down to 30fps. The quality is pretty much the same with the 1R Leica a little bit zoom in. Just be careful with that, with slow motion, your frame is smaller in the 1R. Also with GoPro Heroes 8, you can go all the way to 1080p in 240fps, super slow motion. You cannot do that with the Leica mod. You can though with the 4K mod. The spec of the 4K mod is exactly the same as the Heroes 8. Low light video. Action camera are never decided for low light capture. But since your boy is crazy, let's do some extreme low light test. Here is GoPro. And here is 1R. We handheld both camera and the indoor stabilization is on with the one R, which means the ISO is probably gonna be higher. Both camera are on auto. Let's put them together. The one R looks slightly better with a better AI auto exposure. The GoPro, meh. In my honest opinion, both are bad. I would not suggest filming anything in low light with an action camera. Not even you have a one inch sensor. It is still a small sensor. You will need a full frame sensor for this. So if you think the one inch Leica can solve your low light problem, well, no. Use a Sony camera. You probably will not use an action camera to take photos, but if you are in a pinch and forget your Canon 5D Mark IV, here is photo of GoPro Heroes 8. And here is the nice shot of 1R Leica 1 inch mod. You see the impressive quality of the nice shot thanks to Night DNG merging technology and virtual OIS. As this photo is actually captured handheld, you would never use a tripod and an action camera. So virtual optical image stabilization is very important to make your image look sharp at low light. As not everyone has a perfectly steady arm. Take a look at another darker photo. Here is GoPro and here is 1R. You should be able to make the call now. Comment below and tell me which one you like better. Cool features of 1R 1-inch Leica mod. Let's talk about some cool features. A very cool feature no one seemed to mention is the detachable lens cover. You can screw this off and that is how you put the one inch into your protective frame. The 360 is working with many third party lens filter providers like Polar Pro to design dedicated ND and PL filters so you can control your shutter speed outdoor. This is extremely important if you like to film snowboarding or any outdoor action sports. Experienced action sport videographers will know exactly what I'm talking about. That applies to photo as well. If you want that nice, silky, smooth, long exposure photography in daylight, you need a neutral density filters, aka ND filters, to achieve this kind of effects. And Insta360 has this plan out already. So smart. 
Another unconfirmed information is the one inch custom mod. If you don't like the Leica lens or you want to change into professional glasses, there will be a mod coming later this year allow you to put any lens you want. A zoom lens, prime lens, prompt lens, VR warning lens like the 200 degree antennae lens I have right here. The possibility is endless and that's probably one way allow install to see one art continue to upgrade into a better VR 180 camera or micro camera, whatever you need it to be. Another cool feature is tap to zoom. You can tap the screen to zoom in and really see your face. If you complain about a tiny touch screen, do that. As I mentioned already, it can connect to a professional audio recording device using a USB-C to audio jet converter right here. It only costs $10 instead of a bogey GoPro media mount, which would cost $80. I can connect to my ceremonic Blank 500 lavalier mic and record the best audio for vlog, even in a noisy environment. The reason why I choose the ceremonic instead of the Rode, which is other influencer like it is because ceremony Blank 500s is cheaper and comes with two lavalier microphone for interviews instead of just one. And honestly, the quality is exactly the same or even better. Why pay more and get less, right? Hit the like button if I help you to save some money. Lots of people ask me how long the battery can last. It lasts around an hour for continued filming, so it is okay. Not as long as GoPro Max, but definitely longer than Insta 261X. My 1X go out in probably half an hour. There are winter batteries and extra capacity battery, which will be released soon with built-in GoPro mount. So even like the weight and allow you to shoot without the frame like a true action camera. If you don't want to buy extra battery, now the One R support fast charging, just like the Coolcam AK. Half hour charge will give you 80% battery level. And as you see right here, I use the wow. invisible battery stick, not by Insta360. If you are interested, I will put the link down below. And if you have any accessory suggestion and want to help the community out, don't forget to comment below. Cons. Now let's talk about some cons. Yes, nothing is perfect and it is your boy's responsibility to tell you thing that is meh. So the biggest thing is overheating. I do not run into any overheating in both the 360 mod and the 4K mod. But when in the 1 inch mod, I got overheat in about 7 minute filming while I'm doing my hyperlapse which require a long filming time. When it overheat, the camera stop recording and you need to wait for it to cool down or pop the battery out and do it again. Changing the frame is super annoying. As the one inch mod has an extra glass, you need to screw it out to put the frame in and screw it out again to swap into selfie mode. It might risk dropping the camera. Another annoying thing is when in selfie mode, you cannot really click the video icon as the lens is in the way. Tiny touchscreen does have its drawbacks. All your video are captured in a single Insta 360 format with flow state IMU data and AI data embedded in the video. This creates an extra step for transcoding from the camera to Premiere or Final Cut Pro. Compared to GoPro, which directly record in MP4 and ready to be cut immediately, Insta360 Post workflow for desktop user is a little bit slow, as transcoding does take some time depending on your GPU. But Insta360 does give you ProRes, which means it will save you time on proxy if you are using Final Cut Pro X. So Apple user actually gain time in post-production if you are using some of the latest Mac. So not necessarily a bad thing. Lastly is the weight issue. This thing is heavy when fully loaded. Check on screen for the exact weight compared to GoPro Heroes 8. As action spot require a light camera and this is not exactly light. If you are a FPV pilot, 
This thing is heavy and you need a stronger frame to hold this. Thank you for watching another in-depth review of the Insta 360 One R. Definitely get the 360 Mod as well. Want to learn more about the 360 Mod and the Invisible Zhongma? Watch this in-depth review. The next review of the One R, and yes, more are coming almost every other day. This is a complicated camera and you need to know everything before you pull the trigger. Even though you decide to buy the One R, it does not mean you need to buy every single month to waste money. There are things that you need and there are things that you probably don't really need. And we will cover all of them in this channel so you can save some money on your boy Hugh. The next video though, it is the juicy video, I promise. In that video, you will find things that you don't know when compared to Insta 260 One X. There are lots of One X users here and if you need a reason for the upgrade and it is a big one, you need to hit the bell and watch that video in your VR headset. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. We teach you how to produce immersive content for VR headset, which will be the future of content consumption. You need to get ahead of the game and capture that trend when it is here. Your boy is a award-winning filmmaker more than just a YouTuber and I can really help you if you let me. Until next time, ciao!